Hello friends, I hope you're doing good. I wanted to do this video because on the last video that we did, some people were asking about how to make different views in YNAB to make things a little bit easier for like if you have a budget partner that doesn't necessarily want to see all of these categories. Also, I'm filming today with China. I'm going to miss China here. She likes to, yeah, curl up on my desk right around me. You don't want the Kleenex box, so put that up there. Um, so that's what I'm going to go through today because if you're not the primary YNAB user and you see all of these categories, you might be a little overwhelmed and be like, I just want to know what I have for a grocery budget. I don't want to have to like spend time going through all of these to try and figure it out. So that is where views come in. So you'll see if I click Cody's view, and Cody has access to this on his mobile app as well, suddenly he only gets to see groceries, gas, eating out, spending, pet fund, clothing, home maintenance, auto maintenance, gifts, entertainment, health and wellness. Now these are the categories that we agreed would be important for him to be able to look at and see. Yours might even be more simple, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So on the web app, right at the top here, you'll be able to see edit view or not, sorry, not edit view, um, manage views and new view. It's this little like sandwich looking guy next to all these. YNAB defaults to all underfunded, overfunded, money available and snoozed. Um, so you can come up here and you can go do a new view and you can name it whatever you want. And then you're going to check off what you want available to be seen under that view. And this is great because you can do a view for just like, just bills, just debts, um, just like, the last categories that you want to fund, like the really frivolous ones or just your spending ones, whatever you want. So let's say this one had to be really simple and all we wanted somebody to be able to see is groceries, gas, eating out and spending. And like that's it. And if I hit save, now under this view, that's all the categories that you see. So it really simplifies it from being a lot of categories. Because how many is this? 49 categories. Uh, versus just these ones. Four. 49 to four. This makes it so much easier. And I'll show you what this looks like in the app as well. So if I come here onto my phone and open up the YNAB app, when you're in your budget, excuse me, Miss China, um, if you come up to that little sandwich button up at the top, all your views are there, you can click on the view. So if I go to the one we just created under new view, um, you will see just the ones that we have created. Now, um, in tandem to this, there's the, also the option to pin ones, as you can see here. And all you do to do that, <clears throat> so for me, I prefer to have them pinned. I don't necessarily have a view because I still want to be able to go through and see all my categories, but it's easy for me to see just these four right at the top. And to pin a category, you can only do this on mobile. You can't do it on the web app. Um, but essentially what you'll do is you'll come into the category that you want. So let's say I wanted um, gifts to be pinned. So you click on details and then on the top left you'll see that little push pin. If you click on that, now you'll see that it shows up in your pinned category up at the top here. I'm going to take that out because I don't actually need that in there. Um, but that's how you pin a category. Now that is specific to the user and not to the budget. So views are for the budget. So no matter which user is looking at the budget, they will all see those views, right? So I can create views and it'll show up on Cody's end as well um, using the YNAP Together feature. Pinned views are specific to the user. So I have pinned categories. Cody does not on his app. Or if he did, um, his might be different from mine. So that's kind of where that comes into play as well, right? If you're pinning categories on the mobile app, you might care about certain categories that your partner necessarily doesn't. Um, so that's where pinning is nice versus uh, a view, which is universal between users. Hopefully that made sense. Um, again, I just wanted to touch base on that because I know some people had some questions. I think it's a really useful feature, um, either solo or with a budgeting partner. Um, and I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.